Good morning, everyone. Gerdy here. Doubt. Difficult or uncomfortable bashes my self-trust. Or yours. This is when a train passes by. Life's happening. So, difficult or uncomfortable bashes my self-trust, which is where I've been the last week. And I know this because fear settled in my stomach and I started eating uh, lots of unhealthy things, which made me feel like crap. Which doesn't help because I was already feeling like crap, you know, when you've got fear settling in your stomach, that's not how it, uh, how you feel when you're at your optimum. So why did I have uh, my trust in myself being bashed? Well, my coach, my own coach, challenged me to do something um, which I found to be at the edges of my comfort zone, which is ironic because that's where I take my own clients. And once you've, it, ah, let's set it, go back a little ways. It's easy to forget that um, once you've moved beyond the edges of your old comfort zone, you get settled in a new one. It's not like you're, you pass the edges of a comfort zone once and you never get to do it again because, you know, you've done it. You've been there, done that. You know uh, you're out of there. What happens is you sort of settle into a new comfort zone. So my coach had me, challenged me to pick a city that I would be excited to go to and either do a speaking gig there or a workshop. Now it started out with me not being excited to visit cities in the first place. I'm not a city person, I'm a nature person, a mountain person. So that was number one. And then that whole speaking gig and workshop thing. Now I've spoken before, before groups of people and I've done workshops before. But for some reason, this combination made me feel really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable, which is funny because it's exactly where I want to move to. I want to do speaking gigs and I want to do workshops. But having said that, it took me a while to work through that. I had to sit with that feeling of being uncomfortable. I had to journal about it, write out what it was that I was feeling. And also realize that this feeling of, being, of fear in the pit of my stomach, of being uncomfortable, was exactly, and I mean exactly, the same feeling I get when I stand up on a mountain looking at a very narrow ridge with drops on both sides knowing that I have to cross this ridge because the trail is going to go on on the other side of it. And that realization actually helped me because I know that when I stand at the start of such a ridge, when I concentrate, when I don't look to the left, don't look to the right, and instead concentrate on where I'm going to put my feet and take small steps, I can move forward and I realized that that's exactly what I need to do what I needed to do to pick a city and uh, and start working towards doing a speaking gig and a workshop it was not something that I had to do realize in just one go first of all I've got time and second of all there's lots of little steps that I can take between now and then that will move me forward. So I picked a city, I googled the most beautiful parks in Europe, European cities, found London and then found Richmond Park. So note this date, September 7th, Richmond Park, London. I'm going to do a workshop. 
Now, why am I telling you this? Obviously, because you yourself might be experiencing self-doubt. You might even find yourself in your pantry or in your kitchen cabinets looking for bags of chips or whatever else takes your fancy. Because that's what I was doing. And I can, my body is telling me that I did it as well. So you may have this feeling of unease, maybe even fear, definitely discomfort as you are asked, challenged or wanting to do something that has you bump into your comfort zone boundaries or maybe even has you needing to move past it. You can do this by taking small steps. It doesn't have to be one big leap. Small steps, just like when we have to cross a ridge in the mountains. Concentrate on the small steps and then take them. Look where you put your feet. Take one step. Look where you put your next step, where, you, where you're going to put your foot down. And take that next step. You've got this. Just like I've got it as well. That's it. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.